Copy that, coming down. All four coming down slow. As populations grow in urban locations such as the Greater Toronto Area, it's crucial that the infrastructure follows suit. Primarily, transit systems. And in this case, it's the GO Transit that's looking to expand its rail capacity. Things don't come easy when dealing with trains and rail lines, particularly at the busiest rail intersection in North America, the Davenport Diamond. This is where the GO Train and CP rail lines cross causing constant delays. To fix this problem, GO Transit is not only installing a second rail line, they're also elevating them 30 feet along a 1,200 meter corridor, allowing the CP trains, vehicles, and pedestrians to flow underneath uninterrupted. And if this project already doesn't sound difficult enough, the current GO line has to remain active throughout all of construction. This narrow corridor is dense with buildings, traffic, and people. So the use of cranes isn't an option to lift and install the massive concrete girders needed to support this new line. So how can this work get done? Well, Western Mechanical has the solution. We have been approached by Metrolinx and GO and Grand Construction, who is the general contractor for this project. We have been asked to install a girder every other day which means we have to have a stockpile of girders ready. This is the only way we can keep the schedule of installing a span every other day. We had to go through a, a lot of different ideas and brainstorm sessions to figure out what equipment we have, what's going to work, and how we can get this done in a timely manner. So we had to redesign a whole new system to figure out how to make this happen. The Western mechanical engineers had to put their minds together to come up with a clever and effective solution. We have put a lot of hours into engineering to provide a custom launcher to stay within the constraints of this project where we couldn't affect the daily train. Our launcher is a little bit modular, so we were able to use it and in a new way that we've never done before. And we came up with this cantilever out both sides on a narrow track and we're confident that it's very stable and it's going to work. This span launcher uh, has been completely developed by Western. It's a lot of work, uh, it takes a lot of coordination. So it's a unique project and we've never done anything like this. It's going to be pretty epic when the first piece goes out. Prior to the main scope of work, Western was successful in installing the span over DuPont Street with a crane. So we're literally inside the rail corridor uh, with a live uh, rail line right beside us. So we have to attack this job from sort of a linear perspective. So from the front and the back edges and really the only, the only areas that were free and clear to work. The first step for us was to design and fabricate and build the launcher system. It's a custom system that we've never used before in this configuration. We have to get through some of the bumps and bruises, uh, get the order of operation correct, and then, then we can get into more of a production mindset. Western Mechanical's production flow is crucial to the success of the project and consists of five stages. It begins in the laydown area where the girders are delivered, prepped, and sent out. How are we looking for height there? Looking pretty good, actually. 10-4. Every day, at the break of dawn, Western Mechanical maneuvers one of these giant pieces through the tight city streets on a Goldhofer, with precision and care, to the gantry lift location. Once the girder arrives on site, stage two begins. The gantry lifts the massive concrete girder up and onto the elevated guideway. Music 
In the next stage, the girder is shuttled down the guideway on one of three Goldhoffers to the site of the launcher. Once the team has two girders prepped, they can start stage four. The girders are launched out and lowered. Using the girders that were just installed, the team commences Stage 5. The custom launcher performs a leapfrog maneuver and connects to the next set of columns so it can launch the next set of girders. This process is repeated every other day. While it seems that all the action is happening above, crucial work is taking place below with steel support collars constantly being installed and removed to support the leapfrogging launcher up top. A lot of big stuff that uh, some of the young guys have never seen, a lot of concepts that they've never seen. Pretty excited to be a part of it. Copy that, coming down. All four coming down slow. It's just experience that they'll never get anywhere else and, and things that, you know, they'll never forget. With a talented team of hard workers, Western Mechanical keeps their stride, installing two girders every other day until they reach DuPont Street. Today is the day that we landed the um, last set of girders uh, with our launching system at the north end of the guideway. The final uh, span that we put in today meets up with the CP uh, bridge and they actually intersect at a little bit of an angle to each other. So we're kind of going from the previous girder uh, with a hard edge uh, squared off, and then we're, we're coming into an angled section. So it's just a difficult uh, spot to line up, but I believe it went well. Safety on site is, is paramount. It's such a narrow site. Um, we're in with live GO trains, so safety is more important than ever. So we have to take our, our launching system uh, back a little ways on the guideway and then start our disassembly because this is the last pieces we're putting in with that uh, piece of equipment. So in about a month or two, we'll, uh, we'll return and we'll uh, put the last set of girders in at the uh, south end and that should wrap up the project. One month after closing the gap over DuPont, Western Mechanical is almost ready to finish up their work on this massive project. Only four girders remain. Yeah, it is a big day. Yeah, we're here for the closeout, so we're, we're putting the uh, first of the last four girders uh, into place. After phase two, uh, we had to extend some of the gantry track, uh, lengthen everything out so that we could, uh, first of all, stage the girders and get enough length to uh, put the girders in position. With everything in place, the girders are launched. I would say the challenging part of this portion of it is, is just how condensed everything is. The access at this end of the job site is, is really restricted. We're against hard limits on, on all sides of us right now. So getting equipment in and out is, is a challenge. So getting that, that layering and getting that order is, is really tricky. Today is an important day, yeah, the last girder going in. It's a, it's an exciting day, that's for sure, and uh, a little bit of relief too, you know, that, uh, that last girder, it uh, means a lot to everybody too. It's a lot of action, a lot of moving parts, busy place, busy site. All lights are green. It's time for Western Mechanical to close the book on this complex project. Yeah, it has been a long road, uh, quite a few uh, pieces that we put in, so I think it was 56 total girders. It's exciting to see that last piece of the puzzle fit in there, and the team is everything, yeah, they're really talented. I think the biggest thing is just that, sort of the level of organization, like to be successful and to hit our marks, it's, it's more important. The more organized we are, the more that we lean on 
our skill sets. It really helps out that we can smooth out the way and make sure we hit our timelines and stuff. So that's my takeaway is just that level of organization is just paramount. We do have uh, fantastic crews with our heavy lift division. With our trailers, we have top-notch uh, employees and operators and we pride ourselves in, in being the best. It's very rewarding. I'll, I'll tell my kids every time I drive by this bridge, hey, I, I worked on that. 1,200 meters of raised concrete girders installed every other day for two months straight. Seemingly unachievable, but Western Mechanical made it happen. Now the GO and CP line can cross uninterrupted, making transportation more efficient for products and more comfortable for commuters.